Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I want to talk uh, about a few topics that revolve around IP helper addresses. And through the years I've talked all sorts of uh, times about these various topics individually, but I kind of want to wrap them all together in this one little video. So there's our client uh, Curly down here. He's got a DHCP client and we have a switch and a router. And this router simply is configured with a helper address pointing to this router here who has the DHCP service running on it. And what I want to do is show you what happens when Curly sends out a broadcast and it gets snipered over to this poor little router. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the router 3 trace file. So let me just come on over here to router 3. There we go. And you can see there's destination and reachable. And I kind of picked that one for a reason. Just bear with me just for one moment. And then I'll go to router 1, which is my DHCP server. And there's destination unreachable as well. Now, first thing is, how do you find the same packet in both trace files? Well, I simply use the IP identifier. And you can see there it is 23. And then down here, let me go to the IP layer. There you go, 23. So we've got the same one in both. Just be careful in very, very uh, large traces over long periods of time with many devices, you increase the chance of the same identifier. But if you keep it short, there shouldn't be an issue. So you can see uh, over here, Curly looks like Curly sent a unicast message to the router. Well, not really. If I go back to the original, this is from the client side, all he did was send out a broadcast. And unfortunately, the helper address will forward over to that Cisco router, which is a DHCP server, uh, DHCP obviously, or boot P if you want to call it that. Uh, but then it also fires over a whole bunch of other protocols. And if you just go to the internet, you can look it up fairly easily. And you see here it says TFTP, DNS, uh, time, NetBIOS, ND, boot P, DHCP, blah, 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 blah. And you can unknowingly send a whole bunch of different protocols over to your poor little server. So this guy's sitting here. Every time there's a broadcast, it gets snipered over to him. So what does he do about it? Well, if I go to my trace file for that router, these broadcasts hit my Cisco device, and he comes back and says, destination are reachable, destination being the port, the port being NetBIOS. Cisco says, I don't understand NetBIOS. I don't speak that language. Get lost. And he does it, and he does it time and time again. And I've seen... Um, performance issues to the point where the poor DHCP server, in this case it's the router, is so busy fielding all these, I'm going to call them snipered packets with, DH, with the IP helper addresses, that they don't even have time to get out DHCP address every once in a while. So you can cause quite the issue if you don't watch it. And Cisco, even Cisco says, you know, you can even um, use IP port forward UDP as well as uh, or instead of, sorry, instead of the helper address. So, unfortunately, like every little topic I just touched on a moment ago can be its own video by itself, and I kind of want to keep it short. So, the IP helper addresses, please watch where you're pointing these things. Uh, another point, please don't use helper addresses with broadcast or subnet broadcast. Don't do that. Uh, leave them as unicast. And ideally, try to get away from the helper addresses and use port forward or set up some ACLs so you don't send things like NetBIOS to your DHCP servers. There you go. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.